and this is Jay London here, and uh, I'm going to talk about Insecure. All my homegirls have been telling me for years, watch Insecure, such a good show. And my response to them was always, uh, I kind of know these women that's being portrayed on this show. Um, I have had these type of conversations. I've seen this stuff happen in everyday life. Um, and I feel like the sh I felt like the show was just like a, a reflection of what's going on in the dating scene for black women and black men. And I don't think I was wrong with that. So I decided to dive in and go ahead and say, all right, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to binge watch it up to the new season, okay? And so now that I've watched all the way up to season four, episode five, I'm going to go ahead and give a season breakdown for each season. So I'll start with season one um, since it was the first one I watched and the information is slowly fading out of my mind. Um, season one. I thought that um, Issa was trash. <laughs> so Issa D was trash. Um, show was funny. Uh, great comedic timing. Well written. Uh, it just everything. Great to love about the show. But as far as the character is concerned, is is like you cheated on Lawrence because he wasn't living up to his potential. Hey, that makes sense to a certain extent, but not really. You should have broke up with him. Honestly, you should have probably had a conversation with Lawrence be, uh, before somewhere in the two-year period, to be honest with you. So I'm not saying that Lawrence wasn't a bum or he wasn't stuck in a depression. He didn't know how to get himself out of it. I'm just saying, like, come on, girl. Like, you had a dude who kind of loved you and thought he was going to be with you forever, and you cheated on him. And the problem I have with it is not even the cheating part. It's cool. If you just said been honest to say hey <laughs> this is the dick i want i've been wanting this dude uh and that's my free pass or whatever okay cool but as soon as the daniel hit you with the uh, their birthday text which is like the oldest trick in the book it's not even a trick it's really just a guy looking at his facebook page and saying oh shit man i always fucked with her man let me just shoot her a birthday check. Let me just throw out this little bait and see what happens. Like, if nothing happens, cool, but if something happens, great, right? So you got flustered and threw a whole relationship off of a, a birthday text. So season one in a nutshell, uh, to me, with Lawrence and her poor decisions, and then her poor decisions with Daniel. I mean, you wanted to do so hard that you broke up your relationship, and when the dude tried to pursue you, and was trying to make something with you, what did you do? Like, you you told him that you was just an itch that you needed to scratch. Like, epic fail. Now, your homegirl, Molly, uh, I know a lot of people right now hate Molly or they think she's a bad friend. I'm going to tell you, Molly's not a bad friend. Um, she had a bad moment in season four, but season one, season two, season three, she's not a bad friend at all, actually. Uh, people say that she's messy with her breakups, that she's definitely in her own head. Now, the situation with Jared in season one, um, I've heard, I've, I've polled a bunch of women. Um, and yes, it's a double standard. Um, he had a bisexual experience. Uh, and so most of the women I polled was like, nah, uh -uh, not doing it. I'm not going to be having in my head that you might be bi, you might be sleeping with a dude. So uh, while that's probably a very unfair to uh, Jared, because uh, I thought he was very good for Molly. Uh, it is what it is. You got to do what you're comfortable with. So uh, bad breakup, or but it makes sense to a lot of women. Uh, the Lawrence character, I thought that he's the epitome of just a character who uh, is trying to figure stuff out. Yeah, he was kind of down and out, got a little boost up by Tasha, um, and wanted to do better. He felt like trash after messing up Issa's birthday and kind of was getting himself on the right track. And throughout the next three seasons, we kind of see him after the breakup um, trying to find himself. And I think that he's somebody who probably didn't even have his glow up until he broke up or he was in a relationship in the middle of his sexiness. And so now when he's out of the relationship, he's navigating the dating world. Right. And so you see a lot of casual one night stands, him making mistakes uh, in the dating world him, uh, he's navigating it. And you can say the same thing about Issa in the season two. We'll get to that. So I thought it was a really well done character. I felt like the emotions that he displayed when he found out that she cheated on him were real. And um, he was right to walk away. 
You know what I'm saying? I love his best friend, Chad, because I got a best friend like that. <laughs> uh, reckless uh, players. But uh, they're going to keep it real with you 100%. So uh, good characters. The show in general was uh, well done. I'm personally from L.A. Like I said, my grandma has lived in Inglewood my entire life. Um, I went to Inglewood High for a semester. <laughs> so uh, probably in, what, 2001, yeah, when the towers got hit, I was at Inglewood High. So uh, Inglewood means a lot to me. You know, my whole family's from Inglewood. So it was good seeing Inglewood, good seeing Market Street and all that good stuff. So uh, overall, season one, pretty good. Issa as the main character is out there messing up. Like I just be honest with you, um, Molly, she's in her own way because she has like ideal of a perfect relationship in her head. She has the ideal of what a perfect man is in her head, and we see throughout the seasons how that's starting. She's gonna have to break that habit. So uh, my season one of Insecure review, check me out. Um, I'm Jay London. Check me out my YouTube. Uh, if you like podcasts. I do a podcast weekly, uh, Geeks and Goons podcast. You can see us on I, uh, iTunes. Or you can listen to us on iTunes, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. I got that going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a season two breakdown and a season three breakdown, and then I'm going to get into the season four. If you like it, please comment, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Uh, it's been a blast. Thank you very much.